What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking every Uncharted games. I'm really excited. Let's get right into this. So over the past few months, I ended up purchasing all of the Uncharted games on the PS4 and ended up playing and beating all of the games and I absolutely had a blast. I absolutely love the Uncharted series because it includes things that are like parkour, uh, puzzle solving, action, shooting, and also treasure hunting, which I'm a huge fan of all these aspects. And it brings them all together on one type of game. So I'm a huge fan of that. Up first with Uncharted Drake's Fortune, it came out in 2007, and it is an action adventure game with parkour and puzzle solving. You play as Nathan Drake, a descendant of Sir Francis Drake, trying to find the lost treasure of El Dorado with the help of Elena and Sullivan. This is the first look at the Uncharted series and to get to know the character and see what is what and what you're capable of doing with all the parkour stuff and all the puzzle solving stuff. It's pretty epic to see. I absolutely loved this game. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10. Next, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. It came out in 2009. And in this game, you're in search of a treasure in Shambhala. Drake partners with Chloe and Elena while battling mercenary groups. So this one here has a very interesting story. It's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. It's very crazy to see different perspectives of things. But I'm going to rank it only a 7.5 out of 10, a little lower than the first game, but I absolutely love this game as well. Next is going to be Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. It came out in 2011, and Drake and Sullivan are in search of a legendary lost city, the Imran of the Pillars, while competing with a mercenary group led by one of Sylvan's former employers. This game here, it's a lot of fun. A lot of things happen in this game and a lot of back and forth and some crazy events happen. I highly recommend this game. I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10. And whenever I did my last playthrough, whenever I played this game, it was actually the first time I played Uncharted 3. I did end up playing Uncharted Drake's Fortune and Uncharted 2 back on the PlayStation 3, but I recently played all of the games on the PlayStation 4. So I'm going to rank Uncharted 3 8 out of 10. Next is going to be the one I've been looking forward to for a long time, and I recently played it and had a lot of fun, and that is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. It came out in 2016. In this game here, Nathan Drake is married to Elena from the first two games, which I thought was awesome, but he comes out of retirement because he is tricked by his older brother Sam, who Nathan thought was dead. With the help of Sullivan and Elena, they search for Henry Avery's treasure. Henry Avery was a pirate back in the pirate days, so basically they're searching for a pirate's lost treasure, but everything that happens to that, they end up finding the treasure, they end up finding all of the plot twists from back then of what happened, so it's pretty epic to see. I absolutely loved the story for Uncharted 4. It was honestly my favorite Uncharted game. I absolutely loved it. A huge fan of it. Some of the mechanics were upgraded. There was the sliding down a hill parts at different parts where you had to jump and do parkour. You could throw a rope and swing while doing parkour, so a lot of things were advanced. I'm gonna rank it 9.5 out of 10. And the last game for the Uncharted series is gonna be Uncharted Lost Legacy. It came out in 2017, and it was supposed to be actually a DLC for Uncharted 4, but they realized that it was too large to be just DLC for the game, so they decided to release it as its solo game after Uncharted 4, kinda like Far Cry did with Far Cry New Dawn. So in Lost Legacy, it continues the story of Uncharted 4, but it is the first game that does not include Nathan Drake. You play as Chloe in this game, who searches for the Tusk of Ganesh in India with the help of Nadine, who was a bad guy in Uncharted 4, who is trying to kill Sam and Nathan Drake. And also you get the help of Sam as well. This game here, because it was a shorter game, it's not the traditional 20 plus levels that the previous Uncharted games had because it was just supposed to be DLC, but it was nine levels, which some were really short, but there were two, I believe number 
level four and level eight that were really long. There was a lot to do, but the story was also amazing. It was a lot of fun. I highly recommend playing this. But again, if you're going to play any of the Uncharted games, I would honestly play them in order because you get all of the details, all of the backstory in an Uncharted 4. You get a lot of the details from the past and you get to learn about what happened with Sam, with him, with Nathan thinking he was dead and it's revealed he actually wasn't. Everything is absolutely crazy. So Uncharted Lost Legacy just continues this outside of Nathan Drake's story. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to rank it an 8.5 out of 10 for Uncharted Lost Legacy. So this was me ranking all of the Uncharted games. I know there was two others. One was one that was on the PSP and there's also another one. I can't remember what it was released on. Maybe a PSP as well. But it was basically a card game. But those are not for the story of Uncharted and nothing that in those games pertains to anything you see in the other Uncharted games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me ranking all the Uncharted games. I absolutely loved this game. I absolutely loved all of the games in the series. And it is rumored right now that there may be an Uncharted 5. Maybe it has Nathan Drake's kids where you play as them and continue the story. And maybe Nathan Drake is basically the Sullivan in that game. That would be very interesting. Or maybe you just have a older Nathan Drake and you're playing as him. Because I know in Uncharted 4, it looks like he's mainly retired at the end of the game where he has an older teenage daughter and him and Elena who are married are basically living a happy life. So I don't know if there will be another one, but the guy that voices Nathan Drake for the whole franchise, for the whole series, says that he is very interested in making another game and thinks it's very possible. So who knows in the future, maybe later on the PS5, there will be an Uncharted 5. Can't wait if there is. I'm going to be a fan of it and I'd be on board with it. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.